today we're talking to St Albans City Manager Ian Anderson at a very chilly Clarence Park but the cockles of the locals have been warmed up with a 1-0 victory over Maidstone United in National League South the victory that takes the Saints up to about 4th from the bottom excellent result Ian, the first half I've got to admit wasn't the most exciting 45 I've seen but the second half I thought we were very much worthy winners yeah, as I've said before, it's, it's tough. I think you know when you when you're going up the slope and, and they put a, a really high press on us and we struggled to get out of the out of the out of the back 18 yard box. Really, we really struggled to get up the park. Everything that come up there went straight back down again, and it was a tough. But all you can ask in, in, in instances like that is to try and stay in the game, which we did today. Um, when you go back to the to the Wildstone game, you know, a minute before half time, we, we we gave them the winning goal in that that period, and that was important that we got in at half time. We managed to settle everybody down. We got a bit more on the front foot, I felt, in the second half. And in the end, I felt we deserved him for what we created in the second half. We had two or three really good chances and uh, fortunate enough to get a deflected goal, which has happened against us a number of times this year. And It was nice for us to get a bit of luck and, and go on and win the game. But a clean sheet and three points is the most important thing at this stage of the season. Everyone heard what you had to say last week about the defence. I should think you're very happy with them today. Well, exactly. Um, and as I said, it's difficult because I'm not one of them that, that really go out and name individuals in terms of, of performances. And I'm usually, as I said last week, I blame myself and I blame the squad as a whole about our performance. But I felt last week that, that individuals didn't defend correctly where today they've gone out and, and they've put their, their lives on the line really to keep a clean sheet. And it's brilliant today from the way that we've gone and defended. And, and as we said earlier, Dean Snedger usually has to keep us in the game with three or four really good saves. He's made one, maybe two saves today. So we've defended, but I have to say, you know, it's not just the back, back four has defended well or the two centre halves have defended well. I felt throughout the team, from the front two, through the midfield, everybody worked extremely hard. We were really hard to break down today, and, and that makes life much easier for the two centre halves in terms of the way they've got to defend. Jamie Fielding got an early injury on 10 minutes, I mean, it was about another three minutes before he went off. Gave you a chance to bring in Rodell Gordon, a 107th player you've used. I shan't ask you to name the others in. Uh, difficult for him to come in in a situation like that, but I think you're very pleased with the way he performed as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's uh, it's one of the, the Rodell we knew really from Stevenage a few years ago, and, you know, he moved around to, I think he went to Billericay and Royston and, and, and Bromley, um, and he's ended up at Woolwich, uh, Woolwich at uh, Walton Casuals with Chris, and we spoke about bringing a winger in a couple of weeks ago. Um, and, and we put seven days in and he came in and trained Thursday night, trained really sharp, really bright. And it was one of them where we started him today or not, we went with the, the, what we know in terms of, of the shape. Um, went with a little bit more experience in midfield with David Noble and Scotty Shorten. And uh, Monash did a great job but he went back to right back at that period there. You know, and he, we know he can play in them areas, did a really good job and, and it allowed Riddell to have a little bit of freedom in front of him. And, and I thought he took his opportunity really well. Got the goal, it was a little bit deflected, but it was a threat all afternoon, I felt, and, and, and it caused them some problems. And their strength is really, you know, their wide areas, trying to push the fullbacks in, and I think we occupied them really well today and, and caused them some problems going forward. I think, um, judging from your comments last week, that it was, it was a surprise that it was two wingers that came in and not a centre half. Was it something that you looked at? Oh, without a shadow of a doubt, you know, we've, we've spoke to probably half a dozen clubs this week in terms of of centre halves but again it's it's can we bring in better than what we've got and, and a couple of the options that we were given I didn't think were better than what we've got. We've, we've got good centre halves Neil, it's just a shame that the centre halves haven't defended correctly, today they've defended correctly. Um, but again, you know, David Longking who, who for me struggled last week has been exceptional today. Now he needs to do that week in week out, he can't pick and choose when he wants to play or wants to defend and James Klotsky hasn't had an opportunity at centre half for probably three months now because I lost my confidence in him so I looked at what we did last week, looked at James, the way he behaved in terms of the way we'd played him over the last sort of three or four weeks. We've been playing him up front, we've been playing him midfield and he's been outstanding and his attitude has been absolutely brilliant so I spoke to him Tuesday, told him that he'd be playing centre half this week so he could plan and prepare properly and he's done a great job for us today and, and he needs to play like that week in week out and we can't have we can't have these ups and downs and, and when we have the downs we're really poor defensively but today we've, we've defended really well. Um, we're playing a Maidstone side that, that everyone knows are full time and they're a good side but we can't just raise our game for playing Maidstone. We have to raise our game now week in week out when we're playing every team in this league because the standards today have got to be maintained for the rest of the season and we haven't done that on a consistent basis all season. 
and I know one player that you keep seeing has, has done really well over the last few weeks has been David Noble, did ex exceptionally well again today. It's hard to rely though on a 37 year old, surely. It is, but then we've got a centre forward that's 40, I think. So <laughs> we, it's, um, and, and, but just that little bit of experience, and, and, and you see with David and, and Scotty, Scotty had great legs and energy today, and David just kept picking things up and just kept rotating it and getting us playing and giving the ball into wide areas. And, and then, as we say, you know, Jefferson just we could a bit of a battering ram today. It was just a battle for him out there. But I feel he led the line really well. But it was just a genuinely difficult game, as I think, you know. Um, we said it. David said it earlier. It wasn't a pretty game. It wasn't. It wasn't for the purists today. But we've had to go and, and dig deep. We've had to go and battle. And, and that's something probably we've not done enough this year. If we'd have done it a little bit more this year, we might have picked up more points. We haven't done it enough. We've done it well today, and we've got to make sure we maintain that the rest of the season. Good news that Jamie Fielding's loan's been extended for the rest of the season. Ian, any idea how bad his injury is? I think it's just a bit of a tweak on his ankle. So again, obviously being Stevenage player, he'll go into Stevenage on Monday and we'll get a report back by hopefully Monday night, if not Tuesday morning. So again, you know, we, we will be guided, but it's to say he's our player now. So, but in terms of the injuries, he'll go back to Stevenage for that one. You brought in these two new players uh, this week, one on loan. Uh, I believe Ollie Sprague has gone now. Yeah, he's gone to Romford, I believe. Um, it was just a conversation we had during the week where you know, I think Ollie was getting a little bit frustrated in, in his lack of opportunities. Um, he feels he's a left back and, and, and he is a left back and I think he's done some really good job for us in terms of playing left side of midfield. Um, but I, I just felt at the time that, that my preference for, for that area is Tom Bender. Uh, I think he felt that his opportunities were going to be limited and uh, you know, he just wants to play football really. So. Yeah, there wasn't a problem, there was, it was all done amicable, we, we, we decided that it was probably best for him to go and play. We had to make sure it was the right team in terms of there was no one in our league and we were quite comfortable with waiver the seven days once we, once we had the seven days come in. So fine from that side of it, it freshened it up from us in our, and we can bring a couple of forwards in in terms of wide players or players that can play down the middle. So it just gives us another option and, uh, and it helps us going into that last sort of quarter or sort of third of the season. Can we expect some more departures shortly? I don't know. That's going to be down to players, David. As I said, I left two players out of the 16 today, and, and if they get frustrated and want to play football, then we have to have that discussion. But as I've said to you all along, I don't like leaving players out. But unfortunately, we had a, an 18-man squad today, uh, and I can only pick 16. Um, and it's harsh, but again, football's football, and I've got to do what's right for the football club at the end of the day. And uh, you know, if them players are not happy, then we have to sit and have that discussion and do it correctly um, and if they feel that their future is going to lie elsewhere then then, then then all be it but again you know I don't want to lose anybody you know we, we we can keep hold of these players so they can all be part of what we're trying to do but they're going to have to try a little bit harder to get back in the squad and, and that's what having a good squad and a big squad is all about but as I say if it was me I, I just want to go and play football. Next Saturday we're down on the banks of the Thames, a very picturesque part of the Thames down there. Hampton and Richmond Borough, uh, maybe not one of the most picturesque grounds in the world. They pick, really picked up after a slow start, it's going to be tough. Yeah, they have and they've done well, but again, you know, when, when I spoke to Gary McCann at the time, he said a lot of their, um, their, 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 their early season form only started to improve when they brought Jefferson in, funny enough, and then they got a little bit of confidence and have taken it forward. So, you know, it'd be good for Jefferson to go back there and, and show them what they're missing. Um, but again, it's going to be a tough game. They've had a great results over the last few weeks. You know, they're fighting every single game. They haven't played today, so um, we've got to go there next week and make sure that we're, we're in a game. And as I've said before, we've got to try and pick up as many points as we can now. We've done all right. You know, I think the last 10, 10 games, I think that's two defeats and uh, three wins and five draws, isn't it? So 14 points from that period, 18 would have been nice, but unfortunately we, you know, we've, we've dropped a couple of points where I feel we should have got maximum points but as we said before we've, we're coming into that last third of the season now we've got to make sure we pick up as many points as we can and, and, and three points today were massive in terms of where we are what we have to do and uh, trying to climb the league. It's great to get another home win, a couple of home wins now since Christmas and uh, we need the fans on our side and home wins are the way to do it. Exactly and I think our home form has been since, since the beginning or end of November we've, I think we've been quite strong at home with the, with the draws against Chelmsford and Hampton the victory against um, uh, Hemel Hempstead, victory today, and the draw against Hungerford. So I think that's five or six games now we've, we've not not got beaten at home. We're at the beginning of the season we were getting beat quite comfortably here, and that was where it's probably let us down this season because our away form up until that period was better than our home form. But 
you know, we've got to take it home and away now. You know, we've got a squad that I feel is capable of, of, of achieving results, but we've got to do it on a consistent basis, not just on a, on a week in, a week there when it suits us. We've got to do it week in, week out. Lovely, thanks Ian, and uh, congratulations today. Thank so, you, Vince. Saints next in action on Saturday the 25th of January. Uh, we're away to Hampton, Richmond Barrow, National League South. Kick-off at the Beverley is at 3pm.